why are you touching the bottle? This is not your section. Hey y'all, it's the Breeze, and you're plugged into the Breeze lifestyle. Thank you as always for clicking on this video. Listen, it's Vlogtober, and your girl is going hard. It's my first Vlogtober ever, 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 ever. Yeah, and we going in hard. So I know people do one video a day. Y'all, listen, I got a nine to five and a whole baby at home. I can't do one video a day. But I am going to hit you with one video every other day. And I thought that the video I just recorded was going to be my first video, but y'all, I literally just thought about this wild night in Atlanta, and I gotta give this to y'all first. This one is so crazy, y'all. It's so crazy. So, go ahead and sit back, and let's get into it. But first, if you don't mind, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. You like the look? Breezy got a new wig. The Breeze got a new wig. Can you please give me an orange heart? Can you please give me a little orange heart, okay? <laughs> I don't ask for much, but y'all know I ask for a little bit of engagement because if you want to see me win and get to 1K before January 1st, you already know how YouTube work. And if you don't, let me tell you, if they see other people liking it and other people engage with it, what they gonna do? They gonna send it to other people. And what other people do? Run it up. So I thank you if you did it already after I just begged you but we friends like if this not your first time here we friends locked in okay so anyway let's get into this crazy atlanta night like probably one of the wildest nights i ever had in my life like it was just so crazy if i keep looking over to the side it's because i do have a nine to five if you new here i'm working on quitting but for now yeah we are where we are right so we a little slow today, but I'm looking at the computer to see when I'm next to get a call. And I'm got one person in front of me. But I'm doing Vlogtober, and we're getting this out. So, I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all just want to hear about the video. So, here we go. Got to set the scene. So, I was in Atlanta, I want to say a good two years. I want to say I was probably here for a good two years. And I was a personal assistant. And I was working for, and I'm going to give you all that video as well. But I was working for a girl, a lady in her businesses. And she owns some restaurants and nightclubs, stuff like that. Like lounges type. So, um, this video is not about her. But I will give you one because she was like the worst manager that you could ever imagine. Right? But anyway, so this video is going to be about, what I'm going to call her. We're going to name her Whitney because the girl was crazy and she was a party girl. So, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm working too, so I don't know. this. I hope it's not like choppy, but I don't know if I just said this. If I did, I'll cut it out or I'm going to hurry up and tell you. So, my job as a personal assistant sometimes was to go to the clubs and to record on Instagram and to just like mingle. You feel me? That really was my job or whatever. So, one night I'm working at the club and I meet this girl. So her name is Whitney. And it's like from the minute that I met her, she was just lit. Like, you know those people that you just meet and they just like a vibe. Like me and her like clicked really fast. So she bought me a shot. And usually like when I'm out, my manager or boss or whatever, she told me it's cool if you drink, just don't get drunk. You feel me? So she bought me a shot, which she didn't have to because I knew all the bartenders, so I would typically, you know, maybe get one or two shots or whatever, because I don't really do, like, the mixed drinks. Just give it to me straight, okay? So, anyway, she bought me a shot, and we cheersing and, you know, having a good time, dancing to music and having fun or whatever. So, afterwards, we left there, and we went to an after-hour spot, and it was just lit. Like, I was just having a good time. When I first moved to Atlanta, sorry, I feel like I'm talking fast. When I first moved to Atlanta, look at me trying to talk slow. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. When I first moved to Atlanta, I was wild. Like, when I say wild, I just mean I was out here in these streets. And I don't mean just fucking and sucking. No, I wasn't doing none of that for real. Anyway, so <laughs> if you not want anyway, anyway, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Like I said, I just thought about this 
this topic. So it's like the memories are starting to flow in. And I, I was just a little wild child because I'm coming from Delaware, where I'm from or whatever. And it ain't really too much going on. So I'm coming from there to something, uh, a city that's lit all the time, like all the time. So anyway, I was out here. So not out. See, I don't want y'all to take it the wrong way. Yeah, I might have had me a little boo thing, but I wasn't out here being a hoe because don't nobody know me okay period so anyway i was out here clubbing like i was on the scene and plus i work for a person who owned nightclubs and lounges and stuff so it was just easy for me to be on the scene and when i was doing real estate right before this time frame i was dealing with this guy who was like not the mortgage broker, but he was like my boss, kind of. Like he was like the the team lead of the real realtors or whatever. And he always would take us out. He will always show us a good time. So I just wasn't really used to dudes like taking you out and paying for everything. When I moved down here, it was a thing. So yeah, anyway, so here we go. <laughs> Look, not here we go. All right, y'all. Sorry. So um where was that? So yeah, so we went to this after hour spot and I just felt like she was just a vibe. Like we was up all night. We didn't get home. And, well, we ain't go home together, obviously, but I didn't go home to like four or five o'clock in the morning. And I obviously had got her number or whatever. And then the next day we linked up for brunch around like four or five. So yeah, that sounds like it's late for brunch, but that's really when Sundays really be getting popping in Atlanta. So we just had a really lit weekend and I did not have no friends down here at this time. So me and Whitney was locked in. We were just having a good time. So this story that I'm about to tell y'all happened, I want to say maybe like a month. I don't feel like it was even a good two months, but it might have been like a month or a month and a half after I met her. Now, mind you, after I met her, me and her was out every weekend. I started bringing her because she ain't had no car. She had a car. She was out actually with her friends or whatever. And we all, you know, she was riding with them. And her friends was cool, but I feel like they, you know, usually in a friend group, some people are more reserved. Some people are a little more friendly, but not too friendly. And some people just in your face, friendly, don't care if you're a stranger, like we best friends. So that's how Whitney was. And her friends wasn't necessarily like that, but they was pretty cool. Like it wasn't like they was giving, uh, it's just like they were just doing their own thing. But me and Whitney, we was just having a good time dancing and talking to dudes. And like, it was just so fun. I miss those days, but I miss them in a memory. I'm just not there no more. I just, yeah, that's why me, me and Whitney ain't really cool now. Because she's still living that life. And baby, I, I went to rehab, okay? <laughs> so basically, I would start picking her up early and then going to work. So we would be in the clubs together. And we always had a good time. And Whitney was the type of person who she, yo, I don't want to give out too much information because like I said, me and her, we didn't end on bad terms, but we didn't necessarily end on the best of terms. I just had to block her and like just move forward with my life. So I don't know like if she knows about my YouTube channel or anything, but she's such a cool girl. She's such a like sweetheart. But she is crazy. Like, she's crazy. So, she was basically, this was the summertime. And she was down here for the summertime. But she didn't live down here. So, she didn't have no job. Her job was finessing, basically. Like, she had a couple ninjas. And she would get money from her ninjas and, you know, whatever. And I'm a good friend. So, like, and I was making a good little amount of money at this time. I know I told you some stories where I was broke and had no money. Da, da, da. But I was doing the personal assistant thing and I was doing Uber. So, I had, I had a couple dollars. It was cool. And then, like, when I would go out to her clubs and stuff, like I said, I really wasn't paying for nothing. So, when I would go out with her, sometimes I would have to pay for stuff. But sometimes when she did have money, like if she got money from her ninjas, she would get money for me. Like, you know, like not that she would get money for me, but she would pay for stuff. So, sorry, I'm just checking, make sure I ain't getting a call. I need my job. Yeah, I need my job. So, um, we both was blowing down on that child, on them, on them trees. We was blowing on them trees. So, it's like... Let's say, for instance, if I link up this weekend, I'll grab it. 
and then next weekend, then she'll grab it. And then, you know, this weekend I get a bottle, next weekend she get a bottle. It'd be like that. We would rotate. So it's not like she was leeching off of me or anything like that. And obviously I wasn't leeching off of her either. So we was, you know, locked in for real. Like we was really hanging out. And she will always ask me, like, what are we doing this weekend? Where are we going this weekend? Da -da 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 -da. Then we would like meet dudes together. So we would hang out with dudes together. I got a couple of story times about that, but that's that's just in a whole nother story. So this time, like I said, it was about a month, a month and a half after. So I was off. I want to say I was off this Saturday or was it a Sunday? Because I didn't work on Sundays. So I was either off on a Saturday or this was a Sunday. I, I really can't remember. But she was like, we should get a section. Now, mind you, anytime I'm going to these clubs, I don't have a section. But like we always, it wasn't like a packed out club that the lady had or whatever. But we always had somewhere to sit or, you know, we was at the bar. So she like, we need to get a section. Like we need to be lit, you know, whatever, whatever. So she telling me like, my man... We just gonna call him Ninja A. It's two of them. Well, it's kind of three of them, but anyway. So Ninja A, Ninja B, and Ninja C. Okay. So Ninja A and Ninja B, they friends. <laughs> they friends. So basically, I'm giving all homegirl business. I'm sorry, but it just, it just, I'm just trying to tell you so it can make sense, right? So Ninja A and Ninja B is friends and Ninja C is like an older dude or whatever. So we pulled up on Ninja C first and Ninja C gave her a couple of dollars. So basically, I'm sorry, she said, we need to go out to the club. We need to get a section or whatever. And this is like on a Friday and we need to get the section for Sunday. So she want to make her rounds and get some money. Like, you know, it's Friday. Her ninja just got paid. Even though they only one of them, the old head, the only one who had a job. So I don't know, but they all had some money for her. So I'm like, all right, cool. I never minded. I never cared about riding her around and doing stuff because I was lonely. My friends, y'all. So it's like, okay, I don't care that you got a, that you don't have a car. I just want to be around somebody and just have fun. And we used to blow down. I used to love blowing down and, and driving and riding and, and being around ninjas. I just, it, uh, call me what you want, but it was fun to me. So anyway, so we go to Ninja C House. Now Ninja C House, I feel like she really didn't want me to see Ninja C. So she would tell me like just to park and like she would go into his house or whatever. And I really don't know what she was doing in that house or whatever, but it wasn't like long enough for her to be humping on nobody. Like when she was in there for a good 10, 15 minutes or whatever, she came out, she like, okay. Boom, she got some of the money. Mind you, she's paying for the section. It's her idea. She's paying for it. It's like, cool, all right, whatever. So she's paying for the section. <laughs> so then, and that's more of a reason for me to go ahead and ride you around because you're paying for the section. So all right, cool. So <laughs> I'm like, if we get in the section, I'm going to get my makeup done. Like, I want to be really, really cute. Like, and it was this girl who I wanted to get my makeup done from. I really am not the makeup girly, so I'm not really the one that's always getting her makeup done. And I'm not the girl that's always in the section either. So I'm like, all right, cool. I already got an outfit. I know what I'm wearing. And I want to, yeah, I want to be cute. And I might, <sighs> I just feel like if I put pictures up, some people are going to know who I'm talking about. But then at the same time, those people are going to keep their mouth shut, right? Okay, so I'll, when I'm editing, I'll see if I want to add the pictures because I was cute. Anyway, so, all right, so, <laughs> so he's in the section or whatever. I mean, ugh, I'm skipping. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little bit all over the place. But anyway, so, let me get right because <laughs> I'm cute. <laughs> All right, all right, so we left Ninja C house. Now, Ninja A and Ninja B, they know each other. So Whitney was first talking to Ninja A, and Ninja B was all there. You know how, you know, you bring a friend to a guy, group of friends, da 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 The whole time, Ninja A was married, but never told Whitney that he, that he was married. So Ninja B ended up telling her that he was married, trying to throw salt on his boy game. But... Whitney still was dealing with Ninja A, but her and Ninja B was creating a friendship. And then her and Ninja B started dealing with each other. And then Ninja A got locked up or something. And that's when she started really dealing with Ninja B heavy. 
But then when Ninja A got out, he was like explaining the whole situation about his situation. And she was just talking to both of them. She was still talking to both of them. I mean, dudes do it all the time. Yeah, I got 10%. But anyway, dudes do it all the time. Don't judge. It is what it is, right? So we go to Ninja A house and we actually, I know Ninja A. Wait, no, because Ninja A is the married one. Sorry, I got to keep up with these names. We went to Ninja B house first, and I know Ninja B. I know Ninja A and Ninja B, but Ninja A is always going to come to the car. He can't have nobody going to his house because he got a wife. Whether she home or not, like, I'm not going to take that chance. And he sells stuff, so he could always, you know, if his wife pull up, just be like, oh, I was just serving or whatever, you know, whatever. So we go to Ninja B house first. And it really wasn't even his house. We just pulled up on somebody's house and he came outside and we ended up hotboxing the car or whatever. And he gave her some money. Now, I never knew. She wasn't like telling me how much money that she was getting, but three they was giving her money, right? So he gave her some money and then, you know, he was cracking jokes like, where are you about to go now? It's like they both knew that Whitney was dealing with them. But it's like Ninja A can't really say nothing because he married. And Ninja B can't really say nothing because you knew she was dealing with Ninja A. You knew what it was when you signed up. So it just, you know. But I still think they was low-key talking to each other. And they would be like in competition of seeing who was going to get her and, you know, all of that stuff. It, that's just too much. It's not my story. I'm just giving you all the surface. I mean, like, yeah, I'm just giving you all the tip of the iceberg just so it can make a little bit of sense, right? So, we leave Ninja B, we go to Ninja A house, and he comes outside, and he like, you know, asks her, that's why I think that they was talking to each other, because he started, the first thing he like, oh, where y'all coming from? And it's like, do you already know where we coming from? Like, why, I, I ain't had no skin in the game, so it would just be entertainment for me, but she would really be like, these ninjas trying to set me up, <laughs> But she was still doing her thing and she was still talking to both of them, getting money for both of them. And I think she was humping both of them. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, right, y'all. My screen. Oh, about to get a call. Okay. So let me get through this part. So we get the money, right? So she's like, okay, let me hit up the promoter and let me see what clubs he's going to be out because he's going to give me a discount on the section. So I think the section was like $200 and we were just going to get. I was drinking Crown. I was drinking Brown. But she did not really like the Crown at that time. She was more of an 1800 girl. So it's like, if she's doing the section, then I got to let her get whatever bottle that she want to get. I mean, it's only right. So I'm like, all right, cool. Whatever you want to get, that's just what I'm going to drink all night because I'm the driver. I don't know if I said this already, but I just want to say it again if I did. Um... I apologize if this story is a little choppy. I'm at work. The cause was a little slow, but now they starting to pick up. But anyway, we're going to finish this video. So, yeah, so she was drinking brown. I mean, I was drinking brown and she was drinking white. So, I'm like, since she's buying the section, it's only right that I let you, you know, pick what liquor that we own. And I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I'll drive since I ain't got no other choice. And we ain't about to be Ubering everywhere because... I had a couple dollars, but Uber in Atlanta on a Saturday night or even a Sunday night, eh, eh, them hot spots be taking all your money. And we both live a little, like at that time, I probably lived about 25 minutes from the city and she probably lived like 35, 40 minutes from the city. So yeah, that was out. I was just going to drive. And I know it ain't right. Drinking and driving, you shouldn't do it. So learn from my mistakes. Ain't nothing happened, but still, you just never know when it could. So anyway... I ended up staying a night at her house on that Saturday. So we did go out. We Like, we didn't always go out to the club club, but I do believe that was a night that I did work on Saturday. I, like I said, I don't remember. We're just going to say that we went out on Sunday, right? So Saturday night, we went out because I know the night before we went out, I did work. So we used to always like either start somewhere else or go somewhere else. So we would either start at the girls who I work for his club and go somewhere else after hours or we would start somewhere else and then go to the girls club. So this night we decided to start at another club. We went out to like a lounge to eat and stuff because the girl food, it was cool. But it just, you know, we wanted to just eat and, like, drink a little bit, go somewhere else. Sometimes you get tired of going to scenes by all the time. So we just went 
ate and then went to the club and then i ended up going to her house and staying the night because we wanted to do some other stuff on sunday and like i told you actually no i'm lying this definitely was a saturday because the girl don't do makeup on no sunday so this was definitely a saturday so friday night i'm sorry y'all i don't want to confuse you but friday night we went out to eat and drunk a little bit and then we went to my job which is a club and went to the club and then i went to her house all right, so we woke up that day and her grandma didn't really like cook breakfast or nothing, but she had some fruit and it wasn't really much else to eat, but we were just chilling. Like we didn't wake up. I say we wake up in the morning cause she always woke up in the morning and it will wake me up a little bit. So we will wake up, roll up, blow down and then lay back down. <laughs> so it's like we did that. But by the time we actually got up, got up, it was probably like 12, one o'clock. My makeup appointment wasn't until I think three or four o'clock. So we was taking our time. I got in the shower, got dressed. She got in the shower, got dressed. So then she was like, you should have told me you was getting your makeup done. And it's like, I thought that I told her I was getting my makeup done, but we might have been lit. I probably told her she didn't hear me or maybe I just forgot and thought that I told her. I really don't remember. But anyway, so we goes to get the makeup done. Before we get the makeup done, we did actually pull up on another one of her dudes. It's not Ninja A, B, or C. It's another one. And he gave her some... Mm -mm -mm, some trees or whatever so it was good for that night i didn't have to pay for the trees not paying for the section but i did say okay i'll get us a bottle because we was lit like we she was a party girl and i was a party baby because i was nothing compared to her but i was i was hanging on like yeah we doing this so i'm like all right so what are we getting tonight she said 1800 so i'm like all right we'll just get a little bottle of 1800 and the bottle, I'm going to try to put it up here, like, the size of the bottle. It wasn't, like, a personal, but it wasn't huge. Like, it was bigger than a personal. And we we tore it down. We tore it down. So, it's like, so her granny lives a little far, and I lived a little far. So, we like, okay, we just want to get a hotel room because we are going to be out all night. Like, this is, like, you know when you plan a good night, it's like, I want everything to just go perfect. And I'm like, I'm going to be drinking. We got a whole bottle or whatever, so I don't want to have to drop you off then go back home or i don't even want to drive that far to your house so we knew where we was going to get the section and we like okay there's another after hour spot after the section and we're going to try to find something around there so we found a little room a little hotel or whatever near the after hour spot so i'm like cool so after we get our makeup done we're going to go check into the hotel get dressed and da -da -da -da. so obviously i took a shower before i got my makeup done my makeup took like an hour and a half, y'all. So by the time I got back in the car, so we had probably took a good two shots before we, um, a good two shots before. And I think I'm messing up on a timeline. I do think, now that I'm thinking about it, I think my makeup appointment started at like five or six. And I think she took like an hour and a half, almost two hours because it was like dark by the time we left the makeup place. And then we had to drive like 30, 45 minutes to get to where we was going. So let's just say I left the makeup place at 7.30, got there at like 5.30, 5.45, whatever, 6 o'clock, whatever. So we had took a good two shots of that bottle each. When I came back, the bottle, it wasn't gone. But as soon as I came back, she was like, dang, you took so long here. Just take the rest of this. Because she knew. She knew she tore that bottle down. Like, she was getting lit, y'all. So, I'm like, okay. But she was like, oh, you look so cute. And she was just, you know how girls, it's not that she was jealous or anything. But she was like, I'm so mad. Like, I wanted us both to be, like, cute, cute. Like, but she did her own. She didn't really do makeup. She did, like, her lashes and her eyebrows and stuff like that. She's like, dang. Because she was asking me if the girl could squeeze her in. And the girl actually said, yeah. But she was like, after I seen how long she was taking on yours, I'm like, I don't even want to waste my time because we got to be, basically we had to be there for the section, I want to say by like 10.30, 11 o'clock or whatever. So we get to the room and we are just so excited. We are lit. And guess what, y'all? 
we did not eat all day. Nothing besides that fruit. But I'm like, okay, cool. When we leave here, I'm going to go get me at least some McDonald's fries. Because I was a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian back at that time. So I'm like, I'm going to at least give me an order of McDonald's fries. And she was like, all right, cool. I'll get something for McDonald's too. Y'all, we never made it to McDonald's. We This girl, because she actually took a shower at the hotel. Me, I just freshened up, you know, boo, 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 freshened up a little bit because I can't take a shower to get my makeup done. And I got my hair done or whatever. So I just freshened up and changed my outfit. And she took forever. So I'm just rolling us a couple little... <laughs> and yeah, so while she doing that, we just in the room because it was a little janky room because it was... <laughs> you could smoke in there or whatever. So it was, it was a little... <laughs> You know, so anyway, so we just, you know, getting ready, listening to music, vibe and whatever. She keep asking me, what time is it? What time is it? I'm like, girl, just hurry up. Just hurry up. We ain't got time for nothing. So this is where I don't want to tell y'all my business. Ah! Oh, I guess y'all did that. That's what I get for thinking about not telling y'all the whole story because it, it'll make sense later. Oh, y'all. So, she had a, um, what can I call it? She had to, I'm going to call it what it is, what the slang word for it. She had a bean, and she had two of them. I said, who this for? Who? Who this for? Because she's the type, like, She's done things like she's experienced in this like drug world. Like she ain't never like did all that, but she's done like Molly, you know, yeah, did a little bit of E, did a little bit of Y'all. Just call me can't get right. Cause if it's not a phone call, it's my storage, it's my battery, it's it's everything, but guess what? The breeze is gonna fight for you, and we gonna get this video. We video. We gonna get this video done. So, like I was saying, like basically, she's way more experienced. I, all I've ever done was a little eh, eh, and a little drinking, and my BD made me sip a little lean one time. I did one time, just a little sip. But anyway, so but I'm also, or I'll say, used to be not like scared to like try certain things especially if the people who i'm with number one i'm comfortable with them number two they have done it and do it like more than once and they still tell them the story to live so i'm like okay i'm like what do it do to you like you know and at this time i was or used to <laughs> take adderall so can i say that I used to take the Addies or whatever, you know. So I'm like, okay, what do you do? She was like, it's kind of just like that. It just have you rolling. I'm like, what do rolling mean? Like, what do that mean? Like, she like, whatever mood you in, it's just gonna boost it, and we just gonna be up all night. So I'm like, okay, give it to me. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool. So like I said, I was I was a little party baby. So we we took that or whatever. So. It's like, we got to go. Now, mind you, nothing on our stomach. Nothing on our stomach. And we, I would say, I probably drunk one-third of the bottle that we had. She drunk two-thirds of the bottle. Maybe a little more than two-thirds of the bottle, right? But I'm like, all right, cool. Let's just, I we, we paid for the section. So, let's just go get the section. And hopefully, they got food there. And it's so crazy because now I'm thinking about it. We didn't even eat there. Like we that we didn't even eat there. Like I guess we wasn't even worried about the food after this point. I don't know. So did I say that I ended up buying the bottle? So she, her man had gave her the green. I bought the bottle. She bought the section. Right. So we get there. That's why I don't like promoters. I don't care what state they in. Promoters be getting on my nerves. So she calls the promoter and he's not answering the phone. So I'm just outside just taking videos. Cause I think I'm so cute. I got my makeup done. It look real nice. Got my hair out, slicked down. I keep saying slick down. Silk Pressiana. Like, yeah, I just was feeling myself. So I'm like, all right, cool. We getting in here. I don't care. We getting in. 
So she's just irritated. We was out there for like 10 minutes waiting on this man. She's just like, he's not answering the phone. I keep writing him on Instagram. He's not looking at it. Like, where is he at? Like, she was just so irritated. I'm like, girl, he's he's probably in there vibing to the music. He'll, you know, he'll come or whatever. So he ended up calling her back and she like, I'm outside. Like she was just so mad and I could hear him on the phone. Like, all right, here I come, here I come. I think she had him on speaker, but he was like, all right, here I come, here I come. So he comes, get us, sit us in our section. Y'all like, I never really felt, I don't know. Y'all could probably call me childish or whatever or say I'm lame, but I never felt so good. Like to just have my own section. That section was huge. Like it was it, it was definitely like a 15 person section and it was just us there just us in the section just vibing like we we're just having a good time y'all so i'm like yeah so we just feeling like we just feeling like them girls like for real like can't nobody tell us nothing so you know dudes looking at us and they section they looking at us over here they like no you ain't got no niggas in your section like what's up so these dudes trying to talk to us or whatever so when the bottle girls came out it's like skirt 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 get out of here that's our bottle like we was being pretty a little protective about our bottle because it's like now i'm pretty much sober um like the the shots or whatever have worn off i'm a little high but that ain't about nothing i'm sober and i'm about to get lit like the the night has just started and we still got so much more to go because like i said we was going to an after hour spot after this so so <laughs> yeah so we just having a good time, twerking, dancing, and this dude had asked us if it was okay because, okay, the section was like this big and then it go out this way. So I'm sitting right here on the top of the section and Whitney is sitting right there. So it's this big, I mean, it's still opening from where she's sitting and it's still open as where I'm sitting, but we're sitting basically in an L kind of, and it's this whole part that's like empty. So the dude came up to us and he wasn't like a cute dude or nothing. Like it wasn't none of the dude that we were trying. He looked more like he would be security type time or whatever. So he asked us if he we could if he could sit there or whatever. And we was like, yeah, no problem, whatever. And at this point, we a little lit. Like we a little lit. So we like, yeah, no problem. So Whitney, like, you want a shot? Do you want a shot? Like, you can't sit in this section if you're not taking a shot or whatever. And I don't know why she said that. Because you're going to see in a minute. So, he like, yeah, yeah, I'll take a shot or whatever. So, she poured him a shot. And he was like, can I get a little bit more? And she was like, cool. And she poured him like a double shot or whatever. It, it, was, it was more than a double shot. So, he sits the cup down. And he just sitting down. And he start... He just sits the cup down and he starts rolling or whatever. So it's like, cool. And it's crazy because we was rolling too or Whitney was rolling because I had rolled two for us. Now it was her turn. So Whitney was rolling and um, the dude never like offered us none of his stuff, which was cool, whatever. We had a hookah, whatever. We was just vibing. And, mm, 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 mm. I'm definitely going to put some videos up because it's like the highlight of my Snapchat. So, <laughs> so yeah, so anyway so he just puts the cup there and he's rolling so he like walks away for a second and mind you we not watching his every move or nothing like that but i just noticed like he walked away for a second and he came back with these two girls so he scoots further in the section and the two girls sit right there and i'm not really worried about it but i looked at whitney whitney looked at me and it's like but it's like, cool. You know, when you a little lit, you either get more aggressive or you get more friendly. And I feel like we both was like feeling like them girls. And it's like, who the hell are you? Because I don't want it to look crowded. I want it to look like we boss bitches in the section. I didn't mind the dude sitting there because you could tell he not with us. But y'all in here is making it a little too crowded for my liking. But we having a good time. We going to let y'all be great. So the girls, the thing, the problem is like the girls didn't say nothing to us. I don't know if the, it could be the dude fault. The dude could have said that we all had the section or it was his section. And he was just letting us in here. I don't know. He didn't ask us if no girls could sit in the section. He didn't ask us nothing. Like I said, he disappeared for like two, three minutes, came back. And he had these hoes with him. So he actually like, you know, can I get a, a, a extra cup? And I'm like, cool. He asked me. So I'm like, 
sure. You know, I'm not thinking. That. He asked for an extra cup. Now, the bottle was closer to Whitney. So, like I said, Whitney poured him the shot. He did never touch the bottle. So, he got an extra cup. And he took that shot that Whitney had poured him. And he poured, like, half of it in, in the other cup. And he gave it to the girls. And I'm watching him at this point because I wanted to know what he wanted the cup for. So, I'm like... Not you using us, trying to get some cootie cat. Like, but okay, go off, bro. Go off. Like, because I did have, I, I won't say I had friends at this time. I had no girlfriends. But I did have some dudes who we was cool. Like, not on no actual vibe or nothing like that. But we were just cool. I'm sure they liked me, but we wasn't, like, doing nothing. So, it's like, I'm always down to help a get some coach. Like, I'm always down to be a third, a wing woman, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm cool with that. So, I'm just like, all right, cool. So, we vibing. And they got um, dancers in this club, too. So, I'm just... I only had a couple ones on me. So I'm just throwing a couple ones to the girl, whatever. And then I had like a $5 bill. So I thought I was smooth. I'm like, here, sis. Like, yeah, we bosses over here. Like, <laughs> $5? You a boss because you handed her $5? Okay. But I'm lit and I'm having a good time. Like I said, we in a section. <laughs> so yeah, I pour myself a shot. I pour her a shot. And I'm like, come on, girl. It's time to drink or whatever. So we taking snaps or whatever. We drink it, and then I go ahead and pour us another shot. Just so whenever you're ready to drink that or sip on that, go ahead and do your thing. And I put the bottle back down. Now, at first the bottle was right next to Whitney, but I did put it like a little closer to me, but more it was like, see, like it was more a little bit in the middle. So we just vibing and dancing and vibing and dancing and twerking and dancing with the dancers and, you know, whatever, whatever. Next thing you know... I see Whitney like kind of going off a little bit and I'm like, cause I'm talking to the dancer and we having a good time. Like, so let's say Whitney is right here, but the dancer is like kind of behind Whitney in another section. So I'm talking to the dancer. You know, when you talk to somebody, you have to like kind of be closer to them. And I'm lit y'all. At this point, I'm gone. Okay. I'm tore up already. Me at school. Me and school, we tore up in here. Yeah. So I I see from in the corner of my eye like this, like a sorry. <laughs> I keep I'm so scared to get a call. I I see this. So I'm like, I'm I, I just had to stop my conversation. I fin I did finish my sentence and I was like, hold on. Then I'm just looking and observing for a minute. And it's her arguing with one of the girls. And I see her snatch the bottle. And I'm like, what is going on? So I get down from like on top of the couch. And I get down and I get closer to Whitney so I can hear like what she's saying. And she like, who are you? Who are you? Why are you touching the bottle? This is not your section. Like she's just pissed. And I'm like, Whitney, what's going on? And the girl's like, bitch, this, 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 this. I'm like, Whitney, what is going on? She like, these bitches trying to freeload off of us. Like, this is not their section. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm like, calm down or whatever. And then the girl was like, yeah, you better calm down. Yeah, you better. I'm like, girl, you need to chill. Because now I'm like, don't try to use me to, like, get at my friend talking about you better calm down. I'm not telling her to calm down because I think that she should be scared of y'all. I'm telling her to calm down because we having a good time. So I'm like, I redirected to her, like, listen, girl, chill out. Like, chill out. The dude is just non-existent at this point. I didn't even see him leave this time. It's just the girls in the section. And they, like, really real comfortable. And I can see that they have two cups. And they filled up a little bit. So, sorry. <laughs> so, um, I'm, like, I'm peeping. Like, everything is kind of happening fast. And like I told you, I'm on the beat, I'm high, I'm drunk, I'm lit. So I'm just trying to like, you know, when you're just trying to keep your composure, but you can feel yourself like floating, that's where I was at the point. So I'm just like trying to like have my girl back. But at the same time, Whitney, I know just from experiences, like we never been in no situation like this before, but I know she's hood and I know that she don't play. Like just hearing her talk, 
to her ninjas, just hearing her talk to like about other situations or whatever, because she had fell out with the friends that I met her with. So just hearing her tell me stories, like I just know that she probably will go zero to 100 real quick and she already on 95. So I'm like, yo, like just chill out, whatever. And he like, she like, who the hell you telling me? This is Whitney. Who are you telling to calm down? Like, ain't nobody scared of you. Get the fuck out the section. Get the fuck out the section. So the girl like, I ain't got to go nowhere. Now, mind you, the other girl is kind of like not really saying nothing. It's really just Whitney and one of the girls going back and forth. And when I said something to the girl, the other girl still didn't say anything because I'm not saying like I'm going to beat you up. I'm telling you to chill out because I'm trying to calm her down. And you're hyping her up. Like, who are you? Like she said, nobody over here knows you but your friend and y'all can leave. So, Whitney, like, get the fuck out of my section. Get the fuck out my section. So then the promoter, who is Whitney's homeboy, came over and like, babe, like, he did say babe. So I don't know, whatever. But he like, babe, what's going on? Like, what's going on? And she just like, these bitches is trying to take our, um, I about to say take our money. These bitches are trying to take our liquor, and they didn't put nothing towards it. We don't know these hoes. Da, da, da. And she and the girls, like, the one girl was just on mute. So when I say the girl, I'm just talking about the same girl. So the girl, like, bitches, bitches, bitch, fuck you. Da, da, da. Like, she just started going off. When I tell you, Whitney took that cup and threw it at her. She didn't go, like, uh. Like, throw it at her, but she grabbed the cup and threw it at her. So, the cup hit her and the liquor hit her, too. And a girl, like, oh, my gosh, the girl tried to jump over the table, and the promoter, like, grabbed her up before she could even touch Whitney and, like, got her out the section. Like, I'm like, yo, this promoter must be security, too, because he seen, I think from just Whitney's reaction, he knew that it was just about to get late. I was just... I was damn near too stunned to speak. Like, I, I, it just happened so fast because they was just arguing. So when Whitney picked up that cup and threw it out, I was just like, oh, my gosh. And by that time, like, it wasn't no need for me to be on defense because the one girl, she was sitting, like, on the edge of the section. Like I said, she was about to try to kind of leave. But I feel like she wasn't going to leave her friend, obviously. And she ain't want to look like no B.I. So it's like she really just was just sitting there. And the other girl, like, she was ready to hop over that table. She tried, but the dude, the promoter was kind of like, mm, mm, a little bit. He was a little chubby, but he still was like a little husky at the same time. And he swooped her up and got her out the section. And she kind of like hit her friend. Her friend fell on the ground. <laughs> her friend fell on the ground, like I said, like, just to, <laughs> to give you like the image. Okay. The friend that's not talking is sitting right here. And this is the this is the edge of the section. This is the floor. So the other friend is right here. And she tried to jump. And the guy grabbed her and swooped her up and took tried to take her out the section. And it's like she kind of bumped into her friend. Her friend just like fell off. And I was like, oh my gosh. And 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 Whitney was like, bitch, I wish you would. Bitch, I wish you would. <laughs> like she was so hyped up. I'm like, yo. So then that's when security came over there and tried to like almost was trying to like get Whitney. I'm like, no, Whitney, chill, just chill. I'm like, it's not her. And I'm trying to tell the security guards, like, it's not her. She wasn't doing anything. These girls, these random girls just came in our section trying to get our bottle. And security really wasn't trying to hear it. Like, no, we ain't gonna do that. We ain't doing that. Da -da -da. Cause Whitney's still hype. Like, nigga, get your hands off of me. Da -da 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 -da. So then I guess I didn't see this happen. I'm just assuming this is what happened. I guess the promoter had gave the girl to one of the security guards or whatever. And the girl had got off the ground and she like followed them or whatever. But all I remember is the security guard was trying to like get Whitney to get out the section. And she like pulled her arm away and was like, nigga, don't touch me. Get your hands off of me. And, blah, blah, blah. and he like, listen, y'all gotta go. And when I heard y'all gotta go, I'm like, what i looked at the bottle and i'm like what like <laughs> we only been here a good two hours like we got two hours to go like what do you mean we gotta go we paid for this section so then that's when the promoter had came over to the security guy like nah nah they ain't going nowhere and then like told them the story he was like all right you know whatever i guess the promoter kind of had a little pull because the dude was just like all right he didn't say i apologize or nothing like that but he was just like all right so i'm like Yo, so Whitney just still hype. I'm like, calm down. So the security guy was like, basically telling him, 
you better calm her down, like, because we're not doing none of that. So, the promoter was like, babe, just chill, like, just chill. It's all good. I handled it. Don't worry about it. Ain't nobody touching you. I handled it. So, she like, yeah, them bitches. Da -da 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 so, I'm like, listen, it's shot o'clock. Let's take a shot. Like, so, we, I poured, like, a big-ass shot for us. And we took that shot. So I'm like, yo. So we still like talking about it a little bit. So basically, he, the promoter, has sent over like the um, dancer, like two dancers to come over and like dance with us or whatever. And and, and we was dancing over and we was like smacking their little booties and stuff and just like dancing and just having a good time. Just like trying to lighten the mood. And she was just, she started coming down a little bit, but she was furious. Like, and guess what, y'all? So why the dancers, like, so let's just say one dancer is, like, dancing for me and one dancer is dancing for Whitney. And then, why the dude come back? Why the dude come back? And he should have talked to me. He should have said something to me. He goes straight to Whitney. And I'm watching him, and I, I I didn't know what he said, but Whitney obviously told me afterwards. But he asked, like, where the girls go? <laughs> Whitney went off. She, like, just got mad over again. And she was like, yeah, why would you bring them bitches over here in my section? Da -da 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 -da. Ain't nobody tell you. Your ass shouldn't even be over here. We was being nice to you, and now you want to come bring these weirdo bitches up. I had almost beat that bitch up. He like, what? Like, wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Da, 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 da. He was just copping, please. Then he was like, but where'd they go? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> he like, I'm trying to get some cootie cat. Regardless, I don't care what you're talking about. Where did they go? Where they at, though? So, yeah, like, that happened. And we just continued the night. <laughs> we just continued the night. And it's like, so this dude had came over. And he like... <laughs> This don't really got nothing to do with nothing for real, but it's part of the story. So this dude had came over and he like, okay, so if I'm sitting, remember I told you the section is like this. It's like a U, right? So Whitney's still sitting right there. I all like I never really moved unless I was talking to her or pouring the shot, or whatever. So I'm sitting on top of the couch. So this dude comes like behind me and he like tapped me and he was like, I don't want no problems, I don't want no problems. So I'm just like, oh, he must have seen everything that happened. So he was like you know, I seen y'all, like, going through it. Y'all two boss bitches. I done seen y'all all night partying. I hate a scraggly hoe. I hate a hoe that's trying to get over it. And he just, like, talking about the girls or whatever. And he was like, you know. And then he asked me, like, if he could get a shot. <laughs> After all that, you talking about you hate scraggly hoes. You a scraggly ninja. What? Like, he was like, yeah, like, let me, let me take a shot with y'all. Let me take a shot with y'all. We don't need you to take a shot with us. We we good. I'm like, listen, at this point, we ain't giving nobody else no more shots because it's just too much going on. But go buy you you I was like, if you buy a drink, like I'll take a shot with you, but I can't give you no shot like from my bottle. I can't do that. Mind you, I ain't even pay for the bottle. So I'm definitely not doing that. I, I'm not about to have I know Whitney probably wouldn't care originally, but with everything going on, like, ain't nobody got time for that. So, guess what? He left, and he ain't never come back. He was a nice-looking dude, too. I was just really surprised that he was really trying to finesse like that. I guess he was like, ain't no way they bring it, drink it that whole bottle. But at the same time, why are you even pocket-watching? Like, why are you watching her bottle? So, anyway, after that, we ended up going to, like, the after-hour spot, and we was just lit. I was turned. I don't know. I don't have too many nights where I don't know how I got home, but this is one of them nights. Like, I don't know how we made it back to the hotel, let alone how we made it from the club to the after-hour spot. And then we was in somebody's section at that. I don't know. I, we, we met these guys. I don't know. I really cannot tell you what happened. Like, it was like flashes. Y'all, I'm next to get a call. I'm sorry. It was like flashes of the night. I know. I Well, I think. I didn't talk to nobody to get in a section. I believe Whitney must have talked to this dude. He let us in this section. We was drinking with them, struggling with them, and we was having the time of our life. But it was just like flashes. I just remember like dancing and being on the top of the section. Da -da -da. So we get in the car. 
I don't know how we got back to the room. I don't know how we got back to the room. But we got back to the room, and I do remember when we got there, the front desk dude was trying to talk to us. And then the dude next door, like, we was real loud. Like, we was real loud. So the dude next door came out. And he was like, yo, I seen y'all leaving. I was trying to talk to y'all. Y'all lit or whatever. And we like, yeah, we lit. Da -da -da -da. He was like, yo, y'all want, y'all want, y'all want a puff? Yeah, <laughs> like, let's do it. So we like, yeah. So we go in his room with him and he really wasn't being like weird. Like he wasn't being weird. I know you probably thinking, why would you go in somebody else's room? Da -da -da -da. I don't know. I don't know. We was lit. So we went in his room and we, I, I can't tell you the time frame that we stayed in there, but we, we smoked two joints, not joints. They was back woods. We, we were sitting there talking and just chilling. Mind you, we are on a beam. And if you know anything about that, like we was up at this point, it's like five o'clock in the morning and we just getting back home was in his room at least for like an hour or two just talking and then we leave his room and i think he did say something like actual once he realized you're about to leave kind of like you know y'all ever had a threesome it's like boy we good <laughs> boy no thank you so we ended up going back in our room and we just up talking about the girls because we didn't want we wasn't talking about them to him but when he brought it up, like, them hoes got us fucked up. Like, they, they don't do it like us. <laughs> like, yeah, like, what did they, <laughs> who they think, do what they think this is, period. So, y'all, the night was wild and crazy, but it was one of the best nights I had in Atlanta until I woke up. Oh, my gosh. I woke up out of my sleep throwing up throwing up throwing up and it just felt like acid because there was nothing in my stomach just throwing up throwing up throwing up throwing up all day we had to book the room for another night because i couldn't move and this one over here wasn't like throwing up but she was just like out of it like she was like i don't know my stomach hurt and i feel like i was making it worse because i just kept throwing up throwing up throwing up i was throwing up in the sink I was throwing up in the tub. I was throwing up in the toilet. Like, sometimes I just could not make it. And I just was like, at this point, I just sat on the bathroom floor and just went at it. And I know that sounds so nasty. I fell asleep on the toilet and everything because I was just like, like, I have my head on it. And I'm just like, Ugh. I did have a little towel right there, but still, it's still nasty. And I'm just like, I just don't want to get up. And I just like... I did not get right. We had to um, get one of her ninjas to pull up and bring us some food. And I couldn't even really hold that down. Like, I, you know, when you hungry, but you're so sick that you can't even really, like, I was eating a little bit, but it really, I couldn't even, I couldn't even do nothing, y'all. So I didn't leave that room until like, 10 o'clock the next night because i'm like shoot i gotta get my baby ready for daycare tomorrow because now it's sunday so it's like yeah yeah i gotta go and i don't want to because i was just so out for the count like i said we was up all day drinking smoking bopping beans only one but still no food no nothing it was crazy but yeah y'all Y'all, <laughs> I will really do so much for you just to make sure I bring y'all the content. Like I said, it's Vlogtober. I'm trying to come hard, okay? Y'all, I, I just can't win for losing. Got a call, try to record again, phone only on 2% as we speak. I, I, I just don't know. I just can't get right. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe. Help me to get to my goal of 1K before the first day of 2025. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.